everyone, it's Sammy from Sammy Sweet Life, and I totally uh, fell in love with this planner. It is an Erin Condren planner, and I have tried these out, gosh, years and years back. I tried out an Erin Condren, did not love it. I didn't really like the paper quality of it. They have since changed their paper, so I'm really excited to um, take a good look at this. So I have purchased quite a few things from Erin Condren besides just the planner. I love their covers that are interchangeable and they fit on the plum paper planner, which I've used on and off over the years multiple times. I think three or four years I've used a plum paper planner. So I do have a couple of older things. I have one of the Take Note College Ruled Notebooks. And I got this one that has the um, little dots and lines on the side. I really liked that one. And then I also have an old planner. I don't know what year this is from, 2014 to 2015, January to December. So 2014 to 15 is what it says on there. It shows you the months, but this was a really long time ago. So this is the 2018 slash 19 planner. And I did buy an 18 month planner and I just fell in love with the layout of this. I just totally got sucked in. So I'm gonna walk you through everything and then I'll compare it to the old paper. They've got some welcome goodies in here. And now I have already opened this up because my little girl, Olivia, saw the package, wanted to know what was in it. And so I did open it and show her. She wanted to see mommy's new notebook. <laughs> so I got this one here. Let's go ahead and move the box out of the way. And so this is what I ended up getting. I don't know the name of this one, but I ended up getting it in the very light gray. And I really just loved the pattern of this one. I liked that you could get it in any color. So I have the gray with the white. And I think originally the stars are like a cream color, but I wanted the light gray on white. So it's just a really pretty neutral color. And I did get a neutral planner, which I have not done before. I'm just, I just wasn't digging the colorful um, in this pattern. I'll show you guys. I'll show you guys everything. We'll walk through everything step by step. So there's the ruler that clips in and it does have a protective film. And this time they warn you that there's a protective film. And so the ruler is not actually blue. Hopefully I can get this off of here. So the ruler is actually clear with the white pattern on it. And the pattern for this year is this woven, I think they call this woven wonder is the pattern for this year. I really actually don't like the pattern at all. I really did not like the colorful woven wonder. I don't like it. And then it has that planner pouch. This one's not connected in like it was a long time ago. This one was actually connected in. And so it gives you the large coil clip so you can clip it in wherever you want it. And so these goodies are the same goodies in all the planners. You get the giant coil clip, so you can clip that in if you want to, or you can use it for something else. You get some compliment cards. You can write a little message on the back. So this is the 20% off coupon. So that's what's all in there. And so I actually like the pattern in the neutral, which is just the, you know, the black and white. And I'll show you guys on different pages that it looks much more neutral. I just did not like the colorful. I don't think the colors were super bright. I think they toned down the colors a little bit. And so I wasn't huge fan of them. Uh, so there's the vellum sheet on the top there with the black. And then this one has the colorful here. I guess the pattern's not so bad with the white background. It kind of looks like watercolor, but I really don't like the, the darker mix there. So I ended up getting this to really um, try out the paper, which I actually really like. Feeling the paper, it's nice and smooth and thick compared to this older paper. This is just so flimsy and I was really shocked because I paid a lot of money for this planner back in the day and the paper was just terrible. I couldn't believe how much people went crazy over this planner that year. I was just kind of baffled after trying it out and feeling the paper. And now this is a planner that I can get behind. <laughs> I really love the paper on this one. It's nice and thick. So anyway, I got the neutral in the hourly. I really have gotten into time blocking recently and I thought with Olivia in school and various activities, it's just a lot easier for me to have the hours on there now. So I'll show you guys the layout in a second after we walk through everything. So this is the 18 month calendar here, July through December. I just like the paper and then there's something else here. It says motivation is what gets you started planning is what keeps you going so you can plan out whatever you want here there's 12 squares you could do 12 different months i do have an 18 month planner so uh, i don't have enough squares if i were to do 
you know, 18 months of planning. And then all of the tabs have a different quote on them. And they all have a slight color to them. If you can see, there's some blue, some yellow, purple, oops, purple, yellow, blue. I guess it's too, I guess that's supposed to be orange <laughs> for October. Green for December, blue for January, pink for February, uh, like a minty color green for March, April is purple, May is like a corally peach color, June is an aqua, and then back to July again is the blue, and then it'll repeat the same colors, I guess. And so here is a look at that page, and there's not a whole lot of color. There's just a slight bit of color with the banners and some bars here and there. So there is the look at the month. It gives you the holidays written in really small, the phases of the moon. You got a look to the next month, and then a line for notes. And the thing that brought me to this planner versus the other planner was the big colors at the top of the pages. This one has just a plain, clean space, so you can decorate it how you want, but I didn't like the bars of the color up there, whereas this has just very subtle colors, and I like that better. And then on the hourly pages, it has just the banners here, and so this was starting in June, so you got the little bit of a minty one, and then it goes into the July color, which is the blue. And so looking at the layout here, there's an empty box up the top, some dot lines for just a to-do list or whatever you want to put for that side. And then I really just love, just absolutely love the look of this with the little bars up at the top. I just love that. There's a little tiny shapes at the start of the month. So you'll see those at the first of every month. Just kind of helps signify what day the new month starts. Since there's no color bar at the top, usually, you know, you have a different color switching from month to month. The only thing I thought about this was the lines were a lot darker than I had thought they were. When people were reviewing these hourlies and I totally got sucked into the YouTube videos watching these and I didn't realize how dark the hour lines are. They actually are really dark. Uh, I thought on camera that it seemed more subtle than it does seem in real life. Again, you guys seeing it, I don't know if you guys will really be able to see the difference there, but those lines are pretty dark lines. They are dot lines instead of just regular lines, which I think makes them look thicker. I wish they would have done just regular lines and then I don't think it would have been as dramatic. So I do like that the hour lines are darker, but I wish they weren't quite so dark. It starts at 6 a.m., it goes to 7 p.m., and then you have a blank thing down here. So in case maybe you have an activity later in the evening, you can put in your own time, or you can put dinners down there, or whatever thing you have ongoing that maybe necessarily doesn't need a time of day. And so I don't start my day early, so these first things will probably be to-dos for me. Usually Olivia wakes up anywhere between 8 and 9, so I don't start my day until like 8 at the earliest. So I have these four bars up here I can use for whatever. I can make a weekly list here, and then the rest is just for time blocking and scheduling, which I really like. I ended up getting the neutral. I want to keep my planning super easy and streamlined as far as um, the time blocking schedule. I have a vertical inkwell press that I have been using, but I just really am having trouble keeping track of times of things. And I thought this would help. I thought the time blocking would be a whole lot easier for me so I can plan in when I'm doing certain things. Olivia has quiet times, certain times, so I can really plan around uh, my mom time and get the things done that I need to get done. I just really love the idea of this hourly. So let's go ahead and look the rest. I already showed you guys the colors. The colors are just going to be the same throughout, like this is the end of July, it switches to August right there, so you've got the little symbol there, and then it switches to the yellow flags up at the top, and so all the months do the same kind of thing, all the way through for 18 months. I guess I didn't show you guys what the end of the month looks like, it just goes from your hourly to a lined page and back to another quote on the divider tab there, so I wanted to see what was at the very, very end of the year. It does give you the full last week of December, so it starts January on Wednesday and goes through January 5th. So it is a Monday through Sunday planner. And so you got the end pages here, you got a little notes tab, and this is where I think Erin Condren kind of stinks compared to, especially like the plum paper planner, you get tons and tons of note pages, you can add more note pages in the 
Plum Paper Planners where this isn't customizable in that re regard. You can plan your coil color and you can plan how many months you want, the 18 month versus the 12 month. You can start with an academic year, so starting in July, or you can start it at January, uh, but you don't get customizability as far as extra things you add in. Plum Paper Planner, you get to customize all the extra fluff in the back, which I really like the notebook pages. So you get, you know, barely any notebook pages, some dot pages, some coloring pages, which actually are really cute. And then you get a contacts page. It just has room for a few basic contacts. And then a plan ahead, which I love. I absolutely love this. And this is another reason why I liked this one. So you can plan, you know, a couple of big things that if you know about weddings or events coming up in the future, you can write them down and you can look to the future, which I think is great. So I could do some pre-planning before I get my planner for 2020, 18 months from now. <laughs> and then going into the end, you get a quote. It's got a bunch of stickers, which I also really liked. So these actually are foil stickers, but you've got the regular silver, gold, and rose gold foil on those. Hopefully you guys can see those. So a bunch of different things. You got birthday celebrate to do's, reminders, a bunch of different icons. And then here, these are more like functional stickers, which I think are really cute. And then some icons, which I really, really like. There's some working out, some baking, some money related things, some cooking related things, just some really cute decorative things, shopping, just really, really cute. And again, it's got various different kinds of foil on there. The last page is the appointment stickers. So you can stick these on for various appointments and they match some of the colors. The last thing is the folder. So you can stick some things in there and then you also get a perpetual calendar. The thing with this is it's something that you can keep so you can put birthdays and information that you're gonna wanna reference every year. So you can just keep adding you know, birthdays to it and that way you can keep up with birthdays and anniversaries and things like that. And look at it every year. I think I'm going to use this for gratitude. So I'm going to just go ahead and start it in July and then start back in January in here. So I'm going to stick this in my nightstand and just write a couple of things that I'm thankful for every day. I do have um like a notebook. It's actually a plum paper planner notebook that I use for journaling. I've been going back to try to do more journaling, but I don't really have anything set up for gratitude right now. So I was really excited to get one of these as well. I knew exactly what I was gonna do with it. As far as things like birthdays, I already have those on my eye calendar, so it's easy to keep up with there. That's really it with the planner. You get the front and back cover, and they are the nice laminated covers. I love these. They do fit on the plum paper planners, which I love. And so I didn't realize this one had a barcode on it. I don't know that my other ones have had a barcode on them. I think that's kind of interesting, but I like that it has lines so you can use wet erase markers. I just bought a pack of wet erase markers off of Amazon for really cheap. It was just a big pack of the black ones. I just really, really like this one. It's humongous. I don't know that I've gotten an 18 month planner in a really, really long time. So this one seems really bulky and big. I think that is all I wanted to talk about in this video. I will do a video on time blocking after I am used to it. I just started trying to do time blocking and I'm really excited to have this for some more concrete time blocking and I will do a video for you guys very soon about that. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you are interested in Erin Conrad things, I do have a, I'm pretty sure it's a $10 off coupon. I will leave that down below for you guys and you can check them out. I'm really, really impressed with the paper. I knew the paper was going to be good because they changed the paper out, but I really love it. It's smooth and it's not as silky as the plum paper planner paper but it's just a really nice feeling paper that i'm really excited about my one big gripe with this whole process is it was shipped fedex sure post which is the thing that switches from fedex to u.s postal service and that was just plain terrible when i got the notebook itself when I got this one, it came a whole lot quicker. It came in like two days and they just used regular FedEx. And this used FedEx SurePost, which is really annoying because it took like six days to get here. And it shipped actually from Austin to Austin. So it should have taken like two days, but they shipped it. It went to Houston and somewhere else and finally came back to Austin and then had to be delivered to the postal service and then finally got delivered to me. It was still within like the time frame that Erin Condrid had said, but it could have been way quicker had they, you know, used regular FedEx versus 
FedEx SurePost, and I did pay $7 for shipping. I think with the amount of sh shipping that I paid, it should have been delivered quicker than that, considering it was in the same city. <laughs> I wish there was a way that you could order it and pick it up, because I do know where the Erin Condren store is. I don't know where like their warehouse or factory is, but they should have an option for you to pick it up if you actually live in Austin and they're being made in Austin, because it just seemed really excessive to have it ship all over Texas <laughs> and take a week to get to me. That's not necessarily Erin Condren's fault, that's more FedEx's fault too, but it could have been shipped a better way through FedEx in order for it to actually get delivered in a reasonable amount of time because I could have totally picked it up in one day and <laughs> got my order really quick. But anyway, that's just a suggestion if anybody's watching, you definitely need a pickup option. Other than shipping, I'm totally happy with my planner. I think it's beautiful and I can't wait to dive into it and start using it. It is July, so I can go ahead and start using it today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give me a thumbs up if you like planner videos. I do want to do more planner videos with you guys. I really liked filming Plan With Me's. The voiceovering is kind of hard to do, but I'm thinking about doing some more planner related videos because I love planner stuff and there's a really active planner community in Austin and the Erin Condren store is here. I really want to dip my toes in a little bit. I think this happens to me every year that I get a new planner in July. I always last like six months in the planner and then I'm ready to switch into a new one. I hope you guys are well. I will catch you guys in my next video. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day. Bye. Going into the end, you get a quote at the end. What? Okay, go make a pee-pee, that's fine.